Starting them young, that's mm -hmm. what I see. Her parents make Get some pens. Well, for our, uh, we get for our house in Nashville. I can afford some. This is the Opus 88. Little late with the two o'clock yeah. drawing. We'll be doing like, it here in just a couple minutes. So stick around.
To match okay. any color. All right. Okay. Here. Okay. Do you have these colors? No. Let me do it. Do you have a favorite? Uh, well, I'm partial to mine, but that's you know that's. <laughs> but as oh, far as, as, far as the ones out here, that I think. Oh my goodness! A lot of them I like. I like you know. <laughs> There's mechanisms I like this one as far as the wall pens. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. I, I, I like the purple heart the way those turned out. Of course, the ebony one is like. You know, Yeah, I'm, I'm partial to the moon. <laughs> it is beautiful. Uh, this one's not for sale. This one's for sale. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got a walk. Okay. Hi, I'm John from Hello Tello Studios here at the Orlando Pen Show. Have a lot of beautiful pens to display and happy to be here and excited for those of you who can come to visit, but those of you who can't, we have a website and Instagram account, and we're always there to serve. Awesome. What's your favorite pen? So right now here, 
The favorite on the table yeah. for me is this red one. Ooh. The reason why I tell people, if you can't afford a Ferrari, which most of us <laughs> can't, this is your next best thing. So it's in a beautiful red material, a Brooks primary manipulation warm tones, okay. but then yeah. we have the Venetian glass work, both on the top and the bottom of the pen. And to top it all off, we have a Bach size eight titanium nib. Wow. So the best of the Italian world here in a pen form nice. when you can't afford a, a Ferrari. Ferrari. That's fantastic. But yeah, a lot of beautiful pens and a lot of detail work that we love to do. Yeah. Thank you so much. There is a lot going on in that room and a lot of people and a lot of vendors and a lot of penergy. Did you see what I did right there? That's my word. Unless somebody else already said it, I don't know. I needed to step out for a little bit because my anxiety was starting to kind of, it's very overstimulating. And this isn't even like the big pin show, but there's just so many people in there and so much going on. And we've already made like four or five laps. We have each procured some booty, not that kind of booty, get your head out of the gutter. I got this really great pen from Tailored Pen Company. It is the Cigar Honey Bee. I think it's the Honey Bee, Cigar Honey Bee. I have my certificate of authenticity upstairs. I also got a rickshaw bag, bag for my pen, I'm really excited. Got a rickshaw pen realm sleeve from Kirk Spear. And then when I got my honeybee pen, it came with another rickshaw bag sleeve for it. And there is one vendor here who, God bless him, his pens, he shipped his pens here. His pens have not arrived, and this is the second day. And so he has paid for his table. Not made, there's, there's no pens there. He has nothing to sell, except he had a whole bunch of his rickshaw pen sleeves that were out. And so I, and it says, no, you cannot borrow my LPC pen. And I thought, you know what, the least I can do is buy one of this man's pen sleeves. It feels so bad for him. I also got this. I got a wand. Because I'm a nerd. And it sits on the pen rest perfectly. And it's going to go on my desk super excited about that so I have business cards and footage of all these different um, all of these different vendors that we've seen tons of different pens some people have volunteered to say a little something you know about the company I've got websites for you to visit so it's been a really fun two days so hopefully I'll get a little bit more footage and we'll have some more fun and I'll leave with some more goodies Tell me a little bit about Divine Pens. So Divine Pens, we started in 2017 uh, in Big Pine Key in the Florida Keys. And uh, I have been making pens for almost 21 years now. Started out with the component pens and four years ago made the switch to making everything on my own. I do my own metal work, do my own clips. Um, a lot of our own resins, or we use the high-end resins like Diamond Cast or Brooks Blanks um, in our pens. Um, we moved to Palm Bay last uh, February and uh, decided to really kind of put the effort, even though I have a day job, uh, into focusing our pens. Uh, next year we've got some plans, going to be changing things up, 
four different models that we will offer and, and, and haven't decided on the resins yet, but that'll soon become and we'll have everything from a smaller kind of pocket pen all the way up to a, a big boy pen that has yet wow. to be. Wow. So what made you decide fountain pens? Are you a writer or? So I, I grew up, I went to school for drafting, so, and I've always drawn uh, hand sketch and stuff all my life and fountain pens because of the different sizes um, always have kind of pulled me in just because of the fine lines that I can do with the fountain pens and I never really used them a lot until I started making pens and then that kind of really you know you make them you use them and then from there it's just kind of been uh, I like the creativ creativity that I can do, you know, with a background in a machining. I was eight, eight years a machinist, so I knew how to be able to make things. Um, and then, you know, like I said, doing pens for 20 years, I understood the pens and how they work and, and how they go together. So it's, just, it's been a combination. Now, now I use nothing. The, the pen in the book has been my everyday carry for six months now. And, and I absolutely love it. I haven't found anything to replace it yet. So. Oh, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. So tell me about yourself. I'm going to film some of this too. Well, let me film this first. Oh, wow. All right, tell me about you. I do the work, um, I had to quit working, it was a little over four years ago to take care of my mom 24-7. I'm a microbiologist by trade. Wow. Um, so to be her caregiver, she needed everything from help feeding, dressing, everything, so I couldn't work. And I wanted something to do because my mind goes a little stir crazy <laughs> and I'm not allowed to use power tools. <laughs> so um, turning a pen was out of it, so he talked me into trying my hand at resin art and it was something I had to finesse over a couple of years because it's not as easy as what some people think to just grab it and go. I had to right. figure out what resin I liked and then from there, I really focused on the beach stuff because mm -hmm. we lived in Florida Keys yeah. and I love the water. So I used sand from down in um, Hicks Beach and then I learned to do the water wave effect and then I also did acrylic paint pours. So I take those and turn those into jewelry along with some of the different effects that I figured out how to do. So it's just something to help keep my mind busy while my body's exhausted. Ah, that's fantastic. Okay, and I have one more very important question I must ask. All right. Dogs or cats, and tell me why. Dogs. She's allergic to cats. Ah, <laughs> easy enough. And That's we have perfect. two dogs. Well, one Wonderful. dog and one grand dog. All a grand dog. I love that. Yeah. Thank you both so much. I am so excited for my pen. Awesome. Thank no, you. Thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. Yes. Thank Absolutely. you for the advice. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah.